What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm pretty excited today because we're not doing a video on that guy right there this week. This week we are doing a video... Dun dun dun! Super Baja Ray time. So if you remember from a while ago I posted a video on all the problems I was having with the Super Baja Ray and some of the problems you know it's just, just plagued with from the factory. Today we are fixing the biggest problem with the Losi Super Baja Ray. So stick around. That's right, fixing the biggest problem Super Baja Ray had from the factory, steering servo. It was weak, it wasn't tough, couldn't stand up to anything. So we are gonna be upgrading to a fifth scale size servo, going big, uh, we've got the high tech here. Um, you're gonna throw that in there nice little budget you could obviously go with like a, a spectrum or a little higher end Savox or something like that get a little bit more power out of it but this is gonna be a lot stronger more durable um, as well as more powerful than the factory one um, so this is gonna be a good upgrade and then in order to get that in there we've got the aluminum uh, servo mount from Losi um, so links to all these parts down below definitely check them out um, we're gonna get this in there see how it performs and uh, Get this thing back on the road. I haven't driven it in a while. I actually charged some batteries last night, so I'm pretty excited. Hey guys, got a new merch store available with some hats, shirts, and other accessories. So if you want to pick up some cool swag and support the channel, go ahead and click that link in the description below. So I'm going to go ahead and get these installed. Uh, why don't you just sit back, relax, and enjoy the little montage.
right, servo's in, everything functions. Um, on this particular servo, I did have to reverse it on the steering, on the radio, just because left was right, right was left. Um, so I just had to reverse that one. Some servos, depending on what server you go with, you're gonna have to do that, um, it's just kind of a thing. Um, but yeah, other than that, I reversed that. I got the, the travel adjusted and got it centered. Um, driving a lot better. Servo's working good. Um, it is at the factory six volt BEC. The other option on this particular ESC that's in the truck is to bump it up to 8.4. This servo doesn't give a rating for 8.4. It only goes up to 7.4. So I'm gonna keep it at the six volts just to play around with it. Um, see how warm the, the servo gets after doing some, some runs on it and stuff. And uh, maybe look into going up to 8.4, but it's not rated up to 8.4. They only give a rating to 7.4. So you definitely gotta be careful doing that. Don't want to over voltage it and blow up the motor on it. Um, there is some resistance in the steering system here with the servo disconnected. So I got to go through and check all my linkages, check all the pivot points, um, see where that resistance is coming from. Um, that's probably part of the reason the stock servo went out. Um, just all that extra resistance that it was fighting. But this one's in. Looking good. Oh yeah, big improvement. Just did a little session in the street with that and the response and just the overall feel of the steering and everything is way better than it ever was before. Granted, it's been a little while since I've driven it. Um, I did forget how much power this thing has. Holy crap, on 6S, this thing is stupid. Um, I mean, you can drift it around in the asphalt on those stock tires, easy. Um, but the steering, I mean, the steering feel is so much better. So if you guys are looking for a good upgrade for this guy, um, definitely go to a fifth scale servo. Um, this was the high tech I put in there was more of like a budget minded servo. Um, you can definitely get more power, more response out of them, spend a little bit more, do that. But that, uh, that aluminum servo mount worked really good. Just use a little bit of Loctite on them, obviously, since you're going into metal. But yeah, the steering feel on this is so good. Um, and that's only at six volts. Um, feeling the servo right now, it's a little warm after that little session. Um, I do have some binding in the front end here under steering. So even with it disconnected, you, it's a little tight turning it. Um, so I got, I got to figure that out. But I mean, overall, once I figure that out, um, that servo should run, run cool. And that's only at six volts. I could up it to 8.4. That particular servo is only rated up to seven four though. So I think I'll just leave it at that. That's way better than the stock one. Um, I know I keep saying that and repeat myself, but it's worth it. Biggest problem solved on this guy. Uh, stay tuned next week, we're probably gonna do the wheels and tires because the stock wheels and well wheels the tires are good i like the tires funnest time i ever had in this is drifting it on the asphalt in the rain that's really fun in one of these
Anyways, servo's good. Um, that, that was my biggest complaint with the factory setup was the servo. Obviously mine stripped out all the gears, uh, just working way too hard. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure out that front end where all that tension is coming from um, in the steering. Um, figure out where all the bindings coming from, fix that. But going to a Fiscal servo, definitely worth it. Um, stay tuned next week, we're gonna go over the other, the other problem I stated in that problems video that I left a link to. Um, wheels and tires. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Hope it helped anyone out um, that maybe was questioning putting a fist scale in here. So I hope this helped you out. Subscribe, like, comment, do all the things. See you next week.